now come to the next point that is unsupervised unsupervised learning unsupervised learning is the training of a machine using information that is neither classified nor labeled and allowing the algorithm to act on that information without guidance here the task of the machine is to group unsorted information according to the similar similarities patterns and differences without any prior training of data unlike supervised learning that is no teacher is provided that means no training will be given to the machine therefore the machine is restricted to find the hidden structured in unlabeled data by itself for instance suppose it's given image having both dog and cats which is had never seen thus the machine has no idea about the feature of dogs and cats so we can't categorize it as a dogs and cats but it can categorize them according to their similarities patterns and differences that we can easily characterize the above picture into two parts the first may contain all pics having dogs that means the first picture having all dogs and the second parts may contain all the pics having cats in them and the second picture having the cats of all in one picture here you didn't learn anything before which has no training data or examples it allows the model to work on its own to discover patterns information that is previously was it mainly deals with the uncollected data sets i will explain that again uh, into the next coming slides so unsupervised learning is classified into two categories of algorithm first algorithm is clustering a clustering problem is where you want to discover the inherent groupings in the data such as grouping of the customers by pushing behavior purchasing behavior sorry association in association rules learning problem is where you want to discover rules that describe large portion of your data such as people that buy x also tend to buy y now examples of the unsupervised learning algorithms the first algorithm which is widely used it's k means clustering second one is a knn clustering and the third one hierarchical clustering this has the supervised learning algorithm types previously we see unsupervised learning algorithms these are the and that is the previously we see that is a supervised learning algorithms now the unsupervised learning advantages labeling of data demands a lot of manual work in and expenses unsupervised learning solve the problem by learning the data and classifying it without any labels the next advantage is the labels can be added after the data has been classified which is much more easier next one is it is very helpful in finding patterns in data which is are not possible to find using normal methods dimensionality reduction can be easily accomplished using unsupervised learning this is the perfect tool for data scientist as unsupervised learning it can be helped to understand raw data sets we can also find out what degree the data are similar this can be accomplished with the probabilistic method this type of learning is similar to human intelligence in some way as is the model learn slowly and then calculates the results the disadvantage of supervised unsupervised learning the following are the main disadvantages of the unsupervised learning the first one is is the results might be less accurate as we do not have any input data 
to train from the model is learned from raw data without any prior knowledge it also a time consuming process the learner phase of the algorithm might take a lot of time as it analyze and calculate all possibilities for some projects involving live data it might require continuous feeding of data to the model which all results in both inaccurate and time consuming results the more feature the more complexity increases this is how the unsupervised learning advantage disadvantage algorithm types and how it is works now i will describe you unsupervised learning in general general way what happen if uh, students are writing the paper without the supervisors this is generally called the raw data generally called the no supervision of the any faculty in exam this is called unsupervised learning types means you will write it's like an open book test or it's like a unsupervised learning test means uh, unsupervised examination test where the uh, students will going to identify their own potential they will do copy from uh, each other they will try to find out from some answers from book etc etc this is unsupervised learning types this is general example i will give another example uh, how this unsupervised learning can be done if consider there is a abc is one data set 1 2 3 third data set a uh, second data set a1 b1 c1 this is a third data set types the uh, it do that this kind of data set don't have any kind of labels so what this is this is the data sets and these containing some values what happen if the ai is going for the processing data it will try to characterize the or understand the properties of the data so it will put that is it is just alphabets that is a b c in alphabet this is alphabet data set it will give number 1 now the second data set contains only numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 this, this is a numerical data set it will be the it will give a second number and the third one is a mixed data set that is a1 b1 c1 so this is a it will mark the data set accordingly but how to process it it will not going to understand it means if i said by to data 1 ka value a le data 2 ka value b le isme se mix me se a b le aisa to addresses it will not going to understand how to address the data sets so it will be in confusing manner so unsupervised learning it will give the result but it will not it, uh, it will not assure you that it will be the accurate results so unsupervised learning give the particulars or what we call that is unexpected results that might be correct that might be wrong it will be the probabilistic methods it will do the combinations of that so so if you want to develop a new kind of formula or develop a new kind of solution sometimes unsupervised learning is also used for the probabilistic methods or do sometimes the results may be differ but that different result might be useful in different conditions so it is also useful so unsupervised learning work like this way